This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. So I guess I'll call the meeting of the Southampton Park Commission for April 11th, 2022 uh, to order. Uh, we have a quorum uh, minus Dan. He cannot make tonight's meeting. Um, so review of minutes um, for, and I, Nick, Neglected to do the October, uh, the November 10th meeting minutes again. Son of a gun. It's been crazy. My bad. Um, but we have the 24th minutes. That right. By Paula. So I just, I just saw a typo, but other than that, um, number four, uh, Crossroads Park and Angel, it was as Angle instead of Angel. So that's, that's key. Stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it. Something to change that. All right. Um, motion to approve the minutes from the 24th. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? K9. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. 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 Uh, we have. Uh, two bills for Eversource of thirty dollars that was paid on the the seventh of April, and one that's getting paid on the twenty first for fifteen thirty one. Uh, I believe that's the brief field. Um, old business. We have the signs, so I think I will reach out to Randall next month and see about getting those installed. Now the ground is finally warming up and one, I would think by next uh, month, uh, it'll be a little less damp so that we can get those installed. So that'll be nice when they're in. Uh, so I will get a hold of Randall. Um, Continuation of the park grant discussions. Um, I know I sent uh, a couple of comments to everyone relative to some thoughts that I had on it and concerns. Um, and then I think everyone got the response from Chris, yeah. Chris Fowles on it. So, and uh, I guess, you know, they're moving forward um, with selecting. Um, someone to look into it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not, and I, I forget Chris's, what she said on time frame. I think it was like a, the end of the month or something. They were gonna select people that they could call on. Yeah, they've already got, I guess six different companies put in for it. So Good. then they, we have to kind of go through those and decide which one would be the best one and then, you know, give them all the information and see what they come back with. Okay. Good. Uh, Bill Cannon just logged in here. So, hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. You're muted, Bill. He's not in yet. He's still connected. Oh, That's still connecting. Yet. Yep. Still connecting. They're still thinking about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Good. He that's does. good. So, um, and I don't. Is there a a meeting tonight of the park grant committee subcommittee? No. No. Okay. No. I thought it was last Tuesday. It was last Tuesday or something. Yeah. It's right. But it wasn't last Tuesday because I, I couldn't find it. So, but that's ongoing. Yeah. Um, um, pickleball. Um. Are you in, Bill? Can you hear us? Yep. yep. Oh, good. So um, I think it's time to reach out to um, the contractor and 
get them to give us a time frame for finishing that? I think it's time to, I, I was hoping I would hear from them and I thought I'll call him, but I got, I got tied up and everything else, but um, okay. yeah, I would like to, I will call them, find out if they got any kind of schedule from the court people to do the court and everything else and what, what that might be. Okay. I got to time down somehow. Otherwise they'll string it out to the middle of the summer. Correct. <clears throat> and that's not acceptable. Right. So. Right. And also when and, and seating and reseating the area too. Right. Yeah. Um, it might be a little bit too wet to do that. Yeah, no, I'm just a time a timeline, that's all. Yeah. Yep. So that'd be good, Bill, if you could do that. We appreciate it. And I that, will follow up on that. Yeah. Because it'd be nice to uh, you know have that wrapped up for the beginning of June, right? Dana? And then you can schedule the yeah. Played two hours yesterday afternoon without him. So, yeah, good. <laughs> can I can I um, also share the banner that there? It's a yes. rough draft. Yeah. Just to so we're going to have a banner and then we're going to have a metal plate listing everybody else. This is the a thousand dollars and more. So this is um, so far. I, we kind of went with the blue because of the new court signs and there's mm -hmm. some typos in here so it, it there's this is not final but i just wanted to share it with you and i yeah. think it's going to be um oh four, bobby con con uh, contributed that was nice of him he did <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good so um anyway so that's that's kind of uh where we're at with that we haven't started the metal one yet that will be on it but i just wanted to give you guys a heads up on sort of a draft of it Yep. So that's just a banner that's not permanent. Um, it's going to be up there probably for the summer or. or... Well, I mean, um, at least for the summer, if we <laughs> want to continue to support the people that supported us, we can take it down the winter, put it back up next right. summer, whatever. Well, that's, so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't have an issue with taking it down in the fall and putting it back up next year. Yeah. So Because I think it's very important. Um, the other one will be um, permanent. Yes. I mean, permanent, not that it can never be removed, but mm -hmm. that it won't have to go. It'll be weatherproof and mm -hmm. just attached to the fencing. So, okay. That was nice placement. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. You well deserved. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they had a little bit of guidance on, on the uh, placing of the logo. So, yeah. except they're trying to work on bills because. We had both the cannons on the same side, and somebody said, "Well, maybe we should separate it." Then we separated. Then it's just uh, too much here, and then we're going to. So, uh, you know, yeah. I try to stay out. I told of you, that. I told you to leave me off. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what I, I can remove you, but I feel kind of bad. I mean, you yeah. know, yeah. that's all right. I well, think you netted in the positive, but you know, we appreciate what you did give to us. So, thank you and all your management of the project too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I guess the other thing is we need to schedule a, a grand opening at some point in time. All right. So, so yeah, once Bill gets some, you know, firm commitments from noons, um, then we can, you know, say, okay, looks like they'll be done by the 15th of June, for instance, and then schedule that. So I, this, yeah, is I went, as soon as I find out, uh, Mark, I will email you what I, what, I get. It. I'm not going to wait until the next meeting. Yeah, no, that would be great. I got. I got to email you right away so you know what's going on. Yeah, no, you can email all of us. Bill, yeah. and then uh, that way we're, you know, we can be in a loop early on. Great. Yeah, I don't know if I have all your email addresses, but okay. When I send out the agenda, Bill. Oh, okay. Got every, it's all got right, everyone. it's on there. Okay email the links the links are on there okay the links gotcha. are on, okay if gotcha. not i can forward it bill no that's all right not a big deal so this yeah. is really my last official meeting I'm, and i'm not the only one i think whose last official meeting is today right right it's, really it's our may so right. um but i did want to say that until the courts are done you won't be rid of me <laughs> <laughs> i just don't have a vote anymore after that right so. Right. And I think there were a couple people nominated at the caucus. Yes, I heard that. I don't know if both accepted or not. So 
Okay, let's hope they do. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's hope they do. I didn't. I don't know who they are, but I was going to try to ask. Uh, um, Lucy probably. Yeah, Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy would have their names. So. Um, follow up with that. <coughs> and the elections are June the first. May. Tuesday. May. I'm sorry. May. Uh, May. The first. I know you're going away for a few weeks, right, Mark? Yes, so. I am. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, so yeah, May May 3rd. May 3rd, okay. Good. Good. But it's been fun being a part of the group. Thank you. Yeah, well, enjoyed having you here. Is this my last meeting too? I think so. Uh, yes. Uh, Don't smile. <laughs> Where's the cake, Mark? Where's the cake? Yeah. No, no, sorry. Should have met yeah, I, was, I was in June already. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll be back in town on uh, May 3rd, so I can yeah. vote that night. Good. Um, wow. Well, that's good. So, yes, appreciate Sunia's time and efforts and oh, yeah. input. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. You sure you don't want to sign up again, huh? Well, I'll probably be back at some point in time in my life, I'm sure. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you. Yes. Thank you. Me too. Janet. Thank you. Yeah. So we just have to make sure we schedule our meetings for when Dan's available because that's yeah. <laughs> until the elections are official and everything. Um, yeah, I just want to get the grand opening planned in enough advance so that we can reach out to the companies and, you know, get right. food ordered and those kind of things. So, sure. yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's better to have it during the week versus on a Saturday or what if there's but I don't want to conflict and make sure there's not another park at, you know, something going on. So right. I'll work with Ed on that. And, and I guess you Mark, so. Right. And Paula too, for, you know, making sure the pavilion's available so that we can okay. utilize the tables right. in there. Right. Yeah, so we'll put yeah. an application in as soon as we get a date. Yeah, for sure. Thank Good. you. Um, Angel statute and crossroads. Um, I need to get a hold of, Jackie, um, I did, as I mentioned in the minutes, uh, we have two more names. <clears throat> so um, I will reach out to her on that. Um, Conant Park and Labrie Field applications. Um, I just received today the application for Pioneer Valley Adult Baseball League um so that they are going to be sending us a check um for their games and it's based on fifty dollars per game and they have Ooh, where did i put it they're they're gonna play on tuesday nights um, and then potentially do some practicing um, in May and June. Um, so I think it was like $350 or something like that based on that um, at $50 a, a game. That's our fee for um, adult leagues. Um, actually, dates requested are right here in the application. So um may 7th 10th 17th 24th 31st june 7th and a rain date of the 14th so seven games and maybe have some practices on the weekend so it's been good working with todd here because <clears throat> i put todd and carol barkham together um and there is no conflicts with any of the games for SYIA. Um, um, so that, that worked out good. And actually, this is kind of the first of the, the oldest group of kids in SYIA are 13 this year. They don't have any older, the older 14 and up uh, games or, or teams this year. So. Yeah. But there's one. 
uh, like what 300 of us. There's a ton of them. There's a bunch of kids. Um, Under 13, Mark? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's the biggest. Uh, 180 kids. 182. Right. Yeah. Which was is up about what? Um, 35. Said, yeah. I thought she said 60 kids. Yeah, right. 60 kids over previous right. years. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Up and coming. So. Um, so that's uh, item five. Item six is the field house um, and continue discussions with Bill. And I kind of holding off a little bit on this to see where we stand on the park grant, whether um, the splash pad is going to go over the Libri field. Um, in the email from Chris Fowles, she mentioned that um, the splash pad would be at Conan Park. And I just, because of the, the way the grant is written, maybe, I don't know. So, um, but there's no way that I can see it going at, at Conan Park. Um, so that's some, another hurdle for whoever they select to work out here. Yeah, I, I mean, we still have to find out the issues, the DEP issues and everything else, right, Mark? With the the outlets? Correct. So that's yeah, so that's next the next that's part. A of the nut. That's a big nut. Yeah. I had a chance to talk to uh George Melaga. Uh-huh. I to him someplace. And uh you know me, I, I mean I honed right in on it. So what's the story not there with the and he didn't want to talk to me about it, so to speak. Because it's a little wonky down there and everything else. So whatever they got going down there isn't really uh, up to uh, uh, the DEP uh, requirements and everything else. But they did it a long time ago and everything else. Yeah, right. It doesn't mean that, 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 I mean, that's the feeling I got from him wavering yeah. around and skirting the issue with me and everything else. You know, is that East Hampton, Bill? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, I mean, you know, it does, I'm sure it doesn't meet today's requirements, um, but it was done, you know, some years ago. They keep changing the regulations and making them more strict. Um, so, well, okay, so where do we have to go to find out this information and everything else? Well, when was when Dan looking into it a little bit? But yeah, when when the town is going to be hiring a consultant um to address the issues uh not only on the permitting from dep but location and so forth oh okay so that's the next stage of it oh okay you were just logging in bill when paula was talking about they've got um six different um firms that are going to um, be on call in southampton for different projects so east southampton is doing an on-call service so you don't have to go out to to bid every time you have a little project so you mean like a house doctor type of thing correct yeah correct yeah and there's six different people so yeah well those can be done as long as they're cert under a certain financial guidelines and everything else is like yep. yeah so that that's that's the next step to it okay so All right moving forward yeah but chris well, okay I, that's what i understand i mean i'm i'm not gonna jump in on this whole thing, because it's a whole lot of work uh, to do on it, um, and it, it 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 all interacts with each other. So at some point in time, I will have to sit down with you, Mark, about this whole thing. Yep. And um, revisit the estimates I put in there for for doing the work and everything else. I did have a talk with AEL, the architects, uh -huh. and um, you know, I told them I kind of gave him a little bit of a heads up that I got to get back in touch with him about relooking at the, uh, uh, at the, uh, the scope of work and everything else. Uh, uh, although I'm a little bit hesitant to do that. I can do a schematic design for the thing between, between the park commission and myself. And uh, I'd rather use something like that, that has uh, some def definition to it, definitiveness to it to go and say, this is what we want to do. 
you know, and uh, so, you know, what, what do we need to do from a cost standpoint to, to kind of work it all out and everything else. So, yeah, well, the, it, it, it'll, it, it's going to take some time. I think the other option is that, you know, through uh, this process that the town's going through now on the park grant is that I think they're going to find that they don't have enough monies to do everything they want to do. And so that we may be reaching out to CPC for more monies or yeah. grants or other grants. Right. Um, and maybe we put the both projects together and get it done. But it sounded like from Chris's message that without having bathrooms established already at Libri Field, that it might be hard to get. I, and I don't know. I'm just one. Yeah. Guess. Right. Yeah. And no, I, mm -hmm. I read that through too. And yeah. Right. So, um, so again, hopefully we'll know in the upcoming months here. So, and yeah, Bill, I agree. Let's kind of wait until we have some better di direction. Um, because maybe, you know, um, we can continue with the plans as designed and, and go out to rebid and, you know, get everything done for both projects. That'd be fabulous. Yes. Yes. Well, okay. I mean, again, I'm going back to that all depends on where the splash pad is going to go though uh, that's right. that's a big that's still a big question correct correct so yep so you're just supposed to say yes that would be fabulous <laughs> <laughs> right it all is it's all good effort yeah yep. all right uh master plan committee open space recreation um and updates from paula or dan um i didn't even get to the last open space meeting okay i'm not sure if dan was there or not okay all right um yeah in his email tonight he didn't you just spoke about the park grant moving forward. So he didn't mention the open space. So as far as I know, on the agenda, there was nothing that uh, really was going to be of any importance to the park commission. Okay. So. Okay. Um, again, um, item number eight, is the new playground equipment at Kona Park. Um, and I think um, Bill has graciously offered to, to prepare those plans. And um, I, I think it's uh, good that we could get together next month, Bill, and maybe think about moving that along and potentially asking for some money. And maybe we just wait until you know, the brief field set and the splash pad and the handicap walkway and try to do like a master plan type of thing, a master yeah. project. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. However, whatever, yeah. how it's gonna work, however it's going to work. Yeah. So, um, anything else under old business anyone has? Okay. Um, open time to the public. Can we just touch base on new business for a second? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, yeah, I was going to get back to Chris's email too. Yeah, and I want the. Um, I'm also on the capital improvement committee, so. Oh yes. Yeah. Not very optimistic that our tennis courts will be repaired with capital funds, since we don't have a lot of capital funds. We scored things and we we were kind of low on uh, scoring compared to other more essential town functions and that's why i asked about arpa application and i don't know mark if it's eligible or not it may not meet the criteria um i don't know if that's worth a conversation with ed or not so okay well yeah i think it's probably worth a conversation to see if it is eligible or um 
The cracks didn't it, shrink. The the cracks didn't shrink over the winter. Oh, right, right, right. The the question that came up at Capital was how much money does Parks have if they have money to put into it, and unfortunately that data wasn't included on the application, and and uh, I did didn't have an answer for them. So yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we need to uh, yeah investigate some other ways to um, come up with monies. Do you need a uh, Janet? Do you need a uh, some kind of budget for those repairs? Have you we do anybody? Yeah. About yeah, we do. We got an estimate from Noons. Okay. So, so yeah, when okay. he started, when he started the. Um, the pickleball courts. Uh, he, I also had a conversation with him about repairing, and he gave us an estimate on repairing the tennis courts. Oh, okay. All right. So you have a budget. Okay. Yep. We have a budget. We don't have any money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Fancy <laughs> budget. Right. But I don't know if if somebody would come in less. I mean, he came in the lowest for all the uh, the pickleball courts. So. Right. You know. Right. I don't Much know. If I'm sorry, how much were the tennis courts? So you mean the pickleball courts? No, the, no, no, the, no, the, no. It, the resurfacing. Yeah, 30, so 30,000. 30, um, so. yeah. And I don't know if there's any other options. You know, I'm. they don't impact the pickleball courts, but eventually, they, I mean, they definitely impact the tennis right. double lines and stuff, yeah. Right. I mean, in past, we've had uh, them repaired um, yeah. using crack sealer, um, kind of like you would with your driveway, mm -hmm. and it doesn't last. Um, I forget, it's probably been maybe eight years or so since we did that. Um, so Better Pathways did it. Mm. Back for, um, and he does great work. So, um, but it didn't, you know, it didn't last. So, I think, unfortunately, spending a sum of money like thirty thousand or whatever, um, it will last for many years. Um, but we may have to dial it back and try to just do crack sealing again mm. and limp along. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't know what the scope. Were they going to repaint the whole courts too, Mark? Yeah, yeah, they're going to refinish the whole court system. Yep, fix the cracks, um, repaint it, restripe them, re you know. And, and then Vermont and Vermont was going to do that stuff. I would assume so. Yes. I would assume so. Yeah. So um, I know everyone got another email from Chris about, um, and we had talked about this some time ago about the um, um, yeah. town's agreement for the mayor's monarch pledge. Yeah. Um, so she wanted to just briefly have us bring it up um, looking to do a garden facility um, over at the Brie field um, just off the driveway um, probably to the left um, so I think it would be a very nice project and there is some room over there um, to the right is where the septic system would go for the field house. So I wouldn't want her to spend a lot of time and effort. And then we have to Pick it stick up. it up to put a septic system in there. Um, <clears throat> so I, I think it's, it'd be nice. I don't know anyone else's feelings um, on it. And um, it would be a nice addition to the park. It seems like a good location because it's not going to impact the 
skating when that occurs or whether when they freeze somebody freezes it over anything because yes i agree seems I like agree. a good location yep and less so less mowing for randall, yeah. randall group, right yeah, yeah. Would seem that it would be kind of a win win with that. Right. Yep. So I guess we could make uh, or have a motion to um, have the uh, Monarch Garden area. Uh, what she call it? She call Perennial it? Wildlife Garden. Yes. Thank you. I knew I read it once already. Um, <clears throat> at Labrie Field, um, as she mentioned, on the left side of the driveway going in towards the retention pond and ice skating area. I'll make that motion. Second. second. Okay, Paula seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good. All right. So I can reply to her and um, tell her that we have approved the plan. Um, let's see. Um, anything else anyone has or? Mm -hmm. So I guess the next meeting, uh, we should probably um, schedule up. Um, and I was thinking about since town meeting is on the 3rd of May, that we should probably wait to the following week so that hopefully we'll have some new members and have it in person at Conant Park, weather permitting. Well, the town, I, you know, the town, I'll be right the, the elections are the 17th. So if it's before the 17th, I will still be. Oh, okay. Be there. No, I'm coming. I'm, I, I'm keep flip flopping those two things. Oh, okay. The yeah. 17th is the, the 17th town. is the election. Is the election. Okay. And then town meeting is the third. So it's the. Election. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And it. We'd Sorry. already said our goodbye. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I guess we'll have to. That was, that was a dress rehearsal. <laughs> we can maybe make it after the seventeenth. I don't know. So. Okay. I messed that up, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. And I guess I we got to figure out when Dan's available too. Um. So either we could do it on the tenth, for instance, um, or the twelfth. Um, I, I'm not sure what works for Dan. That's the only trouble he's on so many committees. Um, I don't think he's been able to do many Thursday nights. Um, or wait until after the 17th. I'm okay with either or. Um, I could do the 10th or the 12th. The 17th to the 26th, I won't be around. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tenth or twelfth work for me. Um, All right. Well, you want to try try the twelfth, um, May twelfth. Yeah. See if Dan's available. Right. Yep. Okay. And it will be at the pavilion. Oh. Okay. Good. Um, with a fallback of town hall meeting room if weather. And mm -hmm. I have to remember to do that. Uh, Ed mentioned that um, I have to say if, if it's inclement weather, we're going to be meeting in the town hall uh, break room so that people know if it's if we're not there, it's, we're in town hall. So perfect. Okay, so, so we'll try for the 10th. Yep. 6 p.m. on the 12th. Oh, the 12th. Excuse 12. me. 12. Got it. Good. Um, all right. 
Uh, hope everyone has a uh, rest of the month. Are you, are you going away on the school vacation week, Sonia? I am going to visit my mother in Wisconsin. Oh, nice. I'm nice. taking my daughter and we're going to head out there and spend a couple days out there with her. Good. So, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, great. <laughs> great. All right. Well, um, good night, all, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good night, yeah. everyone. We'll see yeah. you on the 12th. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Officially, you still. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.